In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in here text. So basically, this is like a title for the X scale put in here without interference of the legend here. So basically, we need to put in space and then we put in the text in here. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to place the X scale title on top of a chart in Chart.js while not interfering with the legend. So the first thing what we need to do is of course to get a default code. So make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started. You can find the link as well in the description box. Scroll down and just copy this entire chunk of code here. So we're going to copy all of this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then I'm going to paste this all in here and then I will cut out this title there. Put that title in here. Save, refresh, there we are. So now we have this, but what we want to do now, of course, is to start creating an item. However, as you can see here, we have an issue. We have the legend here. So let me just show you, first of all, how it's supposed to look like. So if we're going down here, we're going to say yeah, X scale, that's at least where we want to have it. And then we're going to say here, uh, title, and the title here will be uh, display true because by default it is set on false as a boolean value and then the text is a string value so we can say here uh, sales or all sales or let's say sales save that refresh now here we have this item here we want to move that up here but if we put it here up we will have some interference so what we need to do here is and you might say we can do a layout here well that's not possible because a layout let me show you as well will interfere as well because it will only put the padding at the very top so layout and then we're going to say your padding and then you might say your top equals 20 pixels save that refresh now we have a problem we have some space here up i don't want that i want the space here down between so let's start to work with the professional or the complicated way so we need to create here basically a custom plugin so i'm going to say your plugins and you might say, why don't we just put a title in here? That is an option as well. But sometimes you want to maintain the title for some other reason. You need that. You want the legend as well. And you just want to have some custom text there that's supposed to work as a scale title. So that's why I'm doing this here. Of course, if you just need the title itself, go ahead and do that one. That's easier. Saves you a lot of headache and time. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to give it a name. and say legend margin. And the legend margin is basically going to focus on giving a margin at the bottom here or basically some space between the legend and the chart itself so let's copy this and then i'm going to say here constant this and we can just say here this is the legend margin plugin block and i'm going to say here this equals and then what we're going to do here first was an id although i won't be using this but just put it in there and then i'm going to say here uh, this will be very important. We're going to use here a different time is before initialization. And the reason why before initialization and not like before draw, after draw, etc., etc., is because of this. We want to first make sure that Chart.js understands how many pixels it needs to calculate for this. So it will impact as well how many pixels this chart will be. So that means before it initializes, it needs to already pre calculate how much space it needs for every item. That's why before init or initialization and init is another word for start. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say here three variables, the chart, we need the legend, and we're going to use here, well, I guess the plugin options, although we won't be using the last one. What will be important for us is basically here the, uh, the chart itself. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here uh, constant. I'm going to grab here a fit value equals, and then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get a chart dot legend dot fit. Then I guess maybe this could be even arcs because it doesn't matter. This one has no real value. We don't even use this as well, these two. It's just only this one, sorry. So what I'm going to do here really is the chart legend fit. A fit is specifically a functionality built in into chart.js that is a function. So it will calculate. So basically we're talking here about a method. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to say chart.legend.fit. Now you might say, well, why are we now doing redundant work here? The reason why is we're not allowed to do it with this because it's a reference in a reference and we get an error then. So we're going to say 
fit function or equals function dot fit and this here in this fit function what I want to do here is I want to get this value here with a dot bind basically what we're doing now is we're binding the value of this function with or whatever the value is of this with something else so that's what we're going to do right now so we're going to say here chart dot legend which get the legend features then we have this here uh, then what I want to do here is I'm going to say return. And what I'm going to return here is this, which is the reference of whatever we have here, plus the binding value that we're going to do now. Height. So that's the this is the item already. And then you say plus whatever we want, plus equals 30 pixels, for example. So if I do this now and if I save this all, save, refresh, you might see we have now space here between. Beautiful. I'm going to remove the upper layout because the upper layout is not necessary now. I'm going to remove this, okay, save, refresh. So now we have this, and we have this space here. Now you can imagine we can start to move this item up here. So let's start to do that right now. So how do we do that? Well, guess what? We need to make another plugin for this. So I'm going to say a comma. And once I did this, what I'm going to do here is we can just say here, um, top uh, scale title or something like that. Doesn't matter, anything you want. And you might say, why are we doing like this? Like like these two here is because this is like an array it's an array with the objects so so this array has two objects in here which is basically like object in object because it's similar to what we did here although this one here is slightly different but anyway it's like an array so i'm going to say here slash slash and then say this plugin block and then what i need is the following so i'm going to say here first of all the constant equals and then id again exactly the same as upper except we won't be using this again and i'm going to say here the timing it's not anymore before initialization what you want to do is you want to draw this title after the data set has been drawn that's it so i'm going to say here after data set draw then what i want to do here is i want to get here a specific value i'm going to say here Three items we can do again the same three doesn't matter so much. So I'll just copy this, we can just put it in there. And then what I'm going to do here is now start to work again with the object destructuring. So the object destructuring, or I said again, although here we did something very, very close to, but it's not really it. So I'm going to show you now the way to do that. So I'm going to say here constant 30 basis equals chart. Remember the chart here is a object itself so these three are objects but we're going to use this object only but this object consists of very similar to this here we did here chart.legend.fit so for example if i want to grab the legend what i can do here is legend then i don't have to type anymore what i did here above it's like uh, chart.legend no need anymore because you can just say now it's legend that's basically what object destruction does although i don't want legend here i need ctx comma and we have here the chart area, which is very, very useful. And I highly recommend you to watch my other video to, about understanding the chart area. Once you understand that, you can do so much more. But I will show you at the very end of this video, I'll give you the link as well. So what I'm going to do here is the following. We have chart area, and the chart area consists of uh, multiple items. Well, we have the top line, bottom line, left, right, and then the uh, width and height. So I'm going to just grab all of them, although we might not need them all. So I'm going to say top, bottom, left, right, with height. So once we have them all, now we can start to draw the item. So I'm going to say a ctx.save to save all variables we have on, on top, so we can start using them. And I'm going to say here, basically this. All right, so where do we want to put in the item? I want basically this sales should be here up. So I cannot use this title here. I need to make a new text. So I'm going to create a text label, first of all. So I'm going to say a CTX, and then I'm going to say a font for the font family and the, uh, the shape. I'm going to make this nice. I'm going to say bolder. So it's first of all, have a bold design. And if you don't want anything, you can just leave the blank. You can ex exclude that. And then I'm going to say 12 pixels, which is the default in charge yes. And then I'm going to say sans serif equals, uh, our font family is sans serif, which is the default in Chart yes. So now we have that. So the next thing what I want to do here is to say ctx dot uh, fill 
style, which would be basically the font color. And in this case, I'm going to use the default color, which is hashtag triple six. So that's the grayish color that Chart.js uses here as well and here. So what I'm going to do finally is to draw the text. So I'm going to say ctx dot fill text. And then once I did this, I need to indicate, first of all, what is the text? And we can just put in here the text, let's say your sales. Then comma, we have here the X and Y values. So what is the X and Y values? Well, basically it's the pixel coordinates. In this case, what I want here on X is the horizontal coordinates and on the Y is the vertical coordinates. So in this case, our X is easy because we know visually we want to be in the center. So what we can do here is basically the width and the width is basically the calculation of this point to that. So we can say here the width divided by two and then we still need to have a little bit of space and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, let's say zero comma zero. So we have something. Save, refresh. There we are. You can see here right now it does something. It is a bit clipped out because it's really in the center of the center. That's why it's clipped out the upper part. So, so what I'm going to do now is let's put in a proper, uh, let's go down a few pixels. So on the Y, that's this one here. Let's say 10 pixels down. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this and later on we're going to reposition this correctly. I want to put it in the center first. So how do we do it in center? Remember our width value here. I want to copy this width value. If I do this, save. And there we are. So what happens now is it goes to the width from one side to the other. So you might say, why is this? Well, because it's covering this point to that point here or how many pixels in difference this is. So I need to have the width divided by two to be in the center. Although that will be not 100% accurate. So we do still something more. But if I do this first, we get now something. But if you look very carefully, we're not in the center. And the reason why we're not in the center, because it calculates this point to this. But remember, we have here to here. This is still a part of it as well. So this is here. The difference is called the left line. And that's why we have here the left. So copy left. Put the left in here. Save, refresh. All right, so now we are basically in the center. If you look here, in the center but our text alignment is incorrect. So let's align the text to the center. Then you will see it will work nicely. So then I'm going to say enter and just below the fill text, before we draw the text, I want to say our position in center dot text align equals center. Save, refresh. There we are. All right, so now we have this. And now let's, how do we push this down? Well, basically, remember we had this additional space here of 30. So what we could do is we can go down here, but what we can do as well is we have here this line here, which is the top. So if I say here just now top, it will match exactly on this center line or this line here. But what I want to do, of course, is push it a little bit up. Since the space between top and here was about 30 pixels, remember, that's the 30 here. I can get maybe from the top and then we want to do additional 15. However, I'm not going to do plus 15 here. Why? Up is zero, and if we go down, it's a higher value. So this is very important to remember. So instead of plus 15, I need to say minus 15 to go up. And if I do plus 15, it will go down. Let me just show you so you have a visual. So if I say plus 15, save, we're going down. So what I need to do here is not plus, but negative 15. There we are. Now we have this, and that works nicely. So I'm going to remove this item here. And then we are absolutely done here. Let's see here. The X scale can be removed. Save, refresh. And there we are. And this is basically the way how you can play around with adding a uh, scale at the very top in Chart.js. That's really customized. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to understand the chart area, I'm going to recommend you this specific video here, understanding the chart area in Chart.js where you will really understand how to work with positioning and how everything works. It's a very good exercise to understand because with this, you can start to create your own plugins and shapes and position them wherever you want them to place.